Wednesday morning, I woke up with a really sore shoulder. Like I could hardly move move my shoulder to get to get dressed. So I was pretty slow and I was a bit late to work. But don't tell anybody because they get a bit pernickety about that sort of thing. My arm was really sore and I could hardly move it. And when I got to work, it was even worse. Or maybe it had been that bad, but I'd really like woken up properly and realised just how painful it was. And I um, got some Nurofen Plus from the first aid kit, and and then I went to see the um, osteopath. I should actually find out what an osteopath is. Note to self: find out actually what that person does. So I went to the osteopath, and um, and they took took me into this examining room and um, told me to get into the gown, which actually. No instructions. When you get those gowns and they've got like all the little ties down the front or the back because it doesn't say which way it should go. So first of all I put the gown on with all the ties down the front and it felt right. Like it felt like it should be that way but I'm thinking well if she's going to examine my shoulder this is really the wrong way around. So undid it all, flipped it around the other side, did it up at the back and thought that's probably right but didn't feel right anymore because the way it was cut it was like riding right up into my neck. I'm like, dude, I have no idea if I'm wearing, if I was wearing it backwards before or if I'm wearing it backwards now. So I was sitting on the examining table and, and the osteopath arrived back. And first question I said is, do I have this on backwards or the right way? And she said, oh no, that's the right way with the tires at the back. She said, oh, you'd be so surprised at how many people get that round the wrong way. And I'm like, oh, people are funny. <laughs> But, um, so she examined me and had me breathe in and out. She, like, said all these weird words to her scribe who was typing stuff into the computer and lateral this and bone number this, that, and the other, and cervical, what's it, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, turns out that I've got a broken rib on the, in the back, in the back here, where, like, I don't know about you, but I forgot I even had ribs there. I always think of ribs as, like, you know, my rib cage in the front. Bits, but of course there's back bits because the whole part of the cage is that it's a whole surrounding area. Um, and she said that my ribs at the back, one rib anyway, when I breathe in, ribs move. And when I breathe out, this, this rib doesn't move back into position. And so it had caused an inflammation around the muscle. Muscle, <laughs> I don't think I had any, but muscle um, in my shoulder and that's what was causing the pain. Like, how the hell can I crack a rib? I don't do anything. You know, I, was, I said to her, ah, oh, it must have been when I was rock climbing the other day. But she actually thought I was rock climbing because she doesn't know that I don't do anything like that. Going for a walk is about all I do. I mean, a lot of elbow work, you know, for drinking, but that's it. And she said it was from coughing, possibly, because I have a bit of a cough. But really, it's only a little bit of a cough, and it's, it's through the night, and it's really just... That, it's not a hacking cough. Well, it wasn't at that stage. It's a bit rougher now. Anyway, so I have a cracked rip and uh, more Voltaren. And I'm at home today because it's my rusted day off, so I get to talk to you. But um, I haven't had to take any time off work yet, even though I sound like Jimmy Barnes and kind of creak a bit like, I don't know, some old boat. Um, I'm doing okay. But yeah, cracked rip from coughing. Maybe this is what old feels like.